Guten Tag and welcome to 48 Hours in Berlin. We travelled from London Stansted Airport. Just a backpack and a handbag was all we had luggage wise. We flew with Ryan Air and then when we got there late at night, got on the metro and travelled to our hotel. We did it on the cheap, we stayed in the Ibis budget which had everything we needed. It's right next door to the normal Ibis if you want to have that little upgrade. We headed in the morning to Checkpoint Charlie which was our first stop as it was right beside our hotel. If you angle your camera, either way you'll have a KFC sign in the background or you'll have this lovely McDonald's sign. Then to Brandenburg Gate, which is a very touristy spot, great for photographs. Uh, we walked along the water towards breakfast. Such a gorgeous weekend, such, such good weather. We went to House of Small Wonder, which was a lovely Japanese inspired cafe and had these pomegranate mosas. And we had this deconstructed French toast kind of croissant thing going on, which was so, so tasty. And himself had tomato soup and a cheese toasty. Then we headed towards the TV tower and find this stunning market that was happening on the Saturday morning, just had a little bride's around. Really, really cute stuff. And then just some more angles of the TV tower. If you walk around this whole area, you'll find different spots to take good photographs from. And this is the world time clock, which is really, really cool. It shows you what time it is all over the world. And then we were recommended this really cool coffee spot called The Greens and inside there was a connection to like a market which was going on full of really cool suppliers and small businesses so it was a really cool creative area to check out especially this whole building complex. Then we walked towards the East Side Gallery but we stumbled upon this market outdoors before we got there and it was just full of food stalls and different art sellers, drinks, people having drinks by the water. It was just a really, really cool vibe and would definitely, definitely recommend just to stop and enjoy some nice food and some nice ambiance. Definitely somewhere to come to if it's a really nice day. Sit along the water with your pint of beer and enjoy the view. Then we headed to the East Side Gallery and it was a really busy spot but only in different areas. So like this one was really busy and then naturally of course this one was the most popular for getting photographs. Then we had to try some famous currywurst and this is our first stop underneath our railway bridge. It was quite like New York, like Queens, Brooklyn but really really cool and really really good currywurst. Would definitely recommend. And we were also recommended this monkey bar. So it's a rooftop bar, really, really good views. It's called monkey bar because it looks onto Berlin Zoo and you can sometimes see the monkeys playing around from up top. But we did queue for roughly like an hour, I would say. So if you're going, it was only like 5 p.m. I think, but 
expect queues. But really, really good cocktails, really good view, not too expensive, but just a good atmosphere and somewhere to spend the evening. And this is the view from the girls' bathroom. And if you look down, this is the Berlin Zoo. And if you were eagle eyed enough, you might see some monkeys flying around. And a very nice spot for sunset if you get a good, good, good sunset. And then we headed next door for some pasta. Wasn't my fave, but good drinks. Next morning we went to Zimt and Zucker for breakfast. We'd walked past this the day before and it looked so, so good. Along the water, it was a scorcher of a morning, so we wanted to sit outside. Also very fond of these glass straws that Berlin have. And I had the pancakes. It comes with like a lot of fruit. He himself had some egg and bacon on toast. But, mwah. This is one of the parliament style buildings, but it has a glass roof cube on top and you get tickets and go up but the queue was so long to get tickets it was like a two hour wait so we just decided against it but something to look into if you're ever coming. We walked back along the Eastside Gallery because we were heading to the infamous nightclub and it was a Sunday afternoon. It was maybe 3 p.m. 4 p.m. and the queue was quite quite long Everyone, as you can see, is mostly in black clothes because that's how you get in. And then we went to Curry 36 to have our last curry verse before we headed home. Mm -hmm.